Man, this has been great. I've been getting into the office by eight o'clock in the morning every morning this week so far, and it's been phenomenal. At the recommendation of uh, Fred, again, good friend of mine, you, <laughs> if you watch these vlogs, you'll notice that you'll start, you, you hear the same names over and over again, because I talk to a lot of the same people over and over again for advice. Fred had this recommendation last week that I start working with my employee for the two hours a day that he's working, we kind of work hand in hand, to kind of like streamline the work that we've been doing, guide him a little more into the, my style of what I want done. I've been doing it. It's been great. It's been really great. And the fact that now it's still only nine o'clock in the morning and I already started filming videos and like I was already talking with him and like having a cup of coffee, like, which is early for me. I'm not usually a morning coffee person. I'm actually more like a one o'clock in the afternoon coffee person, but it's been great, man. It's really productive. And in fact, he actually edited a reaction for me, which is really cool. I went back and tweaked a couple like minor details, but I maybe edited like 20 seconds or 30 seconds of a 22 minute video. Yo, again, got to give a mad shout out to Fred because we're about to hop on a Zoom. Man, I pre... Get friends that are willing to help you out. Like, surround yourself with people that, one, you help others, and then, two, help others help you because it's all about community and you can move... This, there's a saying that says, alone you go faster, but together you go farther. And I'm in the business of wanting to go farther and fast, but farther because I want to create the biggest... <laughs> empire in the world man like <laughs> why not do it together bring people on your journey and have people that can pour into you so that all being said fred was giving me some advice on project management file this way i can really delegate like the work that i have and, and tasks and like check them and review them and, and like he recommends something called Airtable. So he's a pro with it because he's been using it forever so i asked if he could give a few pointers he's like let's hop on zoom right now i have 20 minutes I appreciate you, bro. All right, so now I'm currently on my way. Oh, thank you, God. Did I, whoo, that would've sucked. I'll be right back. Thank you, God, for this vlog. When I turned on the camera to start filming, it reminded me that I only had 16% on this battery, and I'm currently on my way to film for a client. So thank God, because I just remembered to go get three extra batteries. Otherwise, it would've been an actual disaster. <laughs> would've gotten there 16% and two hours of filming to do. So uh, that definitely would not have worked. Dude, so check this out. I was just speaking to my mom. Take a listen to this perspective really quick. She's like, how cool is this? You're going back to Colorado, a place that you love and loved last year. So take the opportunity to take a moment and just reflect on how much has changed in the past year. You're going to the, the same spot exactly one year later and just reflect on how much has changed in my personal life, in my work life, in my mental health life. Like so much has changed for the better. Reflect on all the things that God has done and just thank God for it. It's amazing. There's so much that has happened. It's it's actually pretty remarkable. I'm incredibly grateful and just enjoy it and celebrate it when you're at literally at the top of the mountain. <laughs> Man, I just spent like five minutes just now just thinking about all that's changed and I want to spend a little more time, but like seriously, dude, like so much has changed in the past year. It's remarkable and I'm really grateful for it. Knock, knock. Hey, how are you? All right, we are back in the studio, back from meeting that client. Really cool client, honestly. Really looking forward to working with her going forward. But what we got right now is writing out the addresses to some, uh, some people that have very generously bought some merch, and I'm very excited to ship them some merch. So we're gonna write out the addresses. So something that I'm trying very hard to remind myself today and more recently, I don't remember exactly where it came from, is to have a long-term perspective for everything in life, but more so especially just around my career right now in the sense of like, it's so easy to get caught up in the day-to-day, -day, oh my gosh, I'm leaving in a couple of days for a week, I wanna make more money, so I need to schedule all the stuff so that I can continue to make money while I'm away and not just lose money. But the reality is, I'm playing a long, long, long game. What I have to do is I have to remind myself, slow down, think about this in a year from now, or in two years, or in five years, or in 10 years. These one day, two day, here day, three day, five day fluctuations aren't that important, especially if you're playing a long game. It could be for anything in life. It's work, it's money, it's what you ate today. I've realized that I've been eating like junk lately, but in reality, like I don't eat like that normally. In the long term picture, I will get back onto my schedule of eating relatively healthy. So it's like giving yourself the grace and being able to pull back from this momentary, okay, here's what the situation looks like and look at it in a long term perspective. Being said, let's take a general look at what we kind of have planned for videos coming up in the next week or two. Dude, look at what I just found. Listen to this. This is the original audio takes from April 5th, 2019 of the, the me recording the more the musics. Listen, listen, listen. More music. Take one. More than music. Take two. <laughs> more than music. Take three. More than music. <laughs> more than music. 
Oh, I think that was the last one. I think the fifth one was the one I used, I think. I don't know, actually. Dude, I'm ready for bed. It's like 7.45. <laughs> I just got back from a friend's son's football game. It was Northport versus East Northport, which is fun, because like, there are two middle schools that end up going to the same high school, which is Northport High School. But like, the middle, there was middle school players playing, playing football, and it was just, it was funny to watch, man, they're so tiny. <laughs> but I'm ready for bed, dude. Got an interview, though. Got an interview in about 45 minutes. Bro, I'm so tired, I'm falling asleep. <laughs> uh, let's get this interview going, the Juan Sosi Peña. Honestly, man, really glad that I did that interview. It was a phenomenal, phenomenal chat, but I am tired, let me tell you. Call has been forwarded. So I was just calling my friend because I'm going to Mohegan Sun, or as I call it, Brohegan Sun, which is where I had my bachelor party, by the way. <laughs> Tomorrow for the 1975 concert, and I'm so pumped, so pumped. But I was calling a friend, trying to ask him what the best, what his advice was with the best way to get there. Uh, Cause it is a, it's a little far, it's in Connecticut. But you know what, now it's time for it, it's time for bed. Good night. <laughs>